the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So they're glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, tonight you know I've been going to night school in America for over a year. And Mamma Mia, I'm getting so smart that you wouldn't recognize me. So far, I've been learning a whole lot about the triads, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Why they call this a triads, I don't know, because writing is a start with a W, and arithmetic is a start with a U. <laughs> or maybe it's a start with an O. Maybe an A. Mamma mia, I'm just to find out the why is it called the triads. Nobody is sure how arithmetic is spelled. <laughs> But one of the best things in my life here in America is my night to school class. And my teacher, Miss Spalding. Mamma mia, she's beautiful. Blonde hair, blue eyes, silky, milky skin, and a teeth like a pearl. <laughs> Mamma mia, when she's writing something on a blackboard, then nobody is to look out the window. <laughs> But tomorrow, Mamma Mia, is a big day for my class in school. We're taking a final test, and if we pass, we go to the third grade. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting here studying my book, When In Is A Come of My Country, Mano Pasquale. Luigi, my friend! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Eh, hey, studying your school books again, huh, little banana nose? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Pasquale. You see, tomorrow we're taking a final examination. And if we pass, we go to the third grade. Third grade? Uh-huh. <laughs> so proud. So what? Third grade, a fellow your age. I can just see when you graduate, they're going to hand you your diploma and social security at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale, stop. You're just a jealous because you was and never went to school. Jealous? <laughs> Look, Luigi, let me explain to you something. In America, when a kid is a smart, they skip him a one grade. I was a so smart that they skipped my whole education. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, brains you don't get in a school, that's a something that's inherited from your family. You see, your grandmama and your grandpapa, they was a hand their brains down to your mama and papa. Your mama and papa hand their brains down to you. That's what they call heresy. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, that's uh, very interesting. Hey, look, Luigi, I'm going to show you how smart I am. I was an only son, you see? Uh -huh. Which means I got all of the brains from my mom and papa, besides my own and my wife's. <laughs> I got a four pairs of brains. Hey, Pasquale, is this a true? Sure, it's a true. Why you think my ears stick out like that? <laughs> oh, Luigi, you stupid. Why are you running to school all the time and learning facts which you could put on a pin when I got it all right to hear it in my head? You're so right, the Pasquale. You're a real pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> uh, Luigi, how would you like I should have sent you to day school? Day school? Sure, night schools are no good. Or what can you remember when you learn in the dark? <laughs> now, look, Luigi, I'm getting old and tired. 
I would have liked to support you so you could have go to day school all you want if you would have just take care of my spaghetti palace at a night. Hey, Pasquale, you wouldn't do this for me? Sure, little pumpkin head. These a few hours at a night, I would have liked to relapse. And you, you stay in my store just like a boss. You take care of the store, you take care of the cash register, and while you're doing this, you take care of something else that's belonging to me. <laughs> For sure, Pasquale. What do you want I'm sure to take care of? Hey, hey, hey. My daughter Rosa? <laughs> what do you say, my son? Back at tonight to school. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm going to want to marry Rosa. She's too fat for me. Oh, Luigi. No, Pasquale, please. I'm, I'm going to want to argue. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get examination. Oh, look at the time. I'm, I'm going to go to school. All right, Luigi, you go. But if you take a final examination tomorrow and you fail, and you come crawling back to me and you say, Pasquale, I'm a disgrace. Please let me marry Rosa and live off of you. You know what I'm going to say to you? What? Hello, my son. Goodbye, Pop. <laughs> All right, class, quiet, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Mr. Olson? Yes. And last but not least, Mr. Schultz? I'm last, and believe me, I know the least. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow poopers. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I hope you're not serious. I expect you to do very well in the final examination tomorrow. Oh, of course, Miss Spalding. All night long I was sitting up with my nose in the box. Well, good. Then you should pass. Well, I don't know about the rest of me, but I'm sure my nose will be promoted. <laughs> so smile, everybody. We are all going to pass. Schultz, you got right. With a teacher like Miss Spaulding, how could we fail? Your bad. You and Minnie, you are right. Hold of it. You, you think next week at this time we will all be in the third grade. Ah, Luigi. That's right, Olsen. How is it going to be wonderful? Same friends all together, same nice class. And the same a beautiful Miss Spalding. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Bass. No, no, is it true, Miss Spalding? I'm going to tell you. You're really a very beautiful and a lovely girl. Well, that's very sweet. All the so, I'm Luigi. If the rest of us are in the way, we'd be glad to go home. Oh, man, you'll be the Emily Luigi. Yes, bothering up Miss Spalding. <laughs> bothering her up? He's the whole day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's right is right, Miss Spalding. What Luigi said came from the heart. You're a wonderful person, and I would like you shall always be our teacher. A second devotion. And me too. Shall I make it unanimous with a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> well, class, I'm deeply touched, but, well, I don't know what to say. I'm not going with you to the third grade. Huh? What? Miss Balding, don't tell us you've been left back. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Miss Balding? Well, the principal's already given us our assignments for next term, and I'll be teaching the second grade again. I'm sorry. Mamma mia, this is a terrible... Yeah. Oh, well, who's going to teach the third grade, Miss Boulder? Mr. Heim. Himmel, she's a man! <laughs> Mr. Heim! Oh, he has a terrible reputation. Oh, he, he is the worst teacher in school. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah, I, I spoke to Mr. Lepescu. He, he's in Mr. Heim's class. And he said he is a... Uh, uh, yes, what did he say? Well, I wouldn't care to use his words. <laughs> but what did he say? Well, he said, Mr. Hein, it's a yerk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't judge him until I'd met him. As a matter of fact, he should be here any minute. I've invited him down to meet you. But, Miss Spalding, isn't there something that we can do? Oh, now, Mr. Basco, I don't... Good evening, Miss Spalding. Oh, good evening, Mr. <laughs> Hein. I I'd like you to meet my class. Good evening, pupils. Gone is the pleasure of staying after school. <laughs> Quiet, all of you. Uh, tomorrow you're taking your final examination, and for my part, I hope you all pass. If you do reach my third grade class, I want you to know I don't tolerate tardiness or absences. I will not stand for inattention, rowdiness, or incompetence. All school regulations will be strictly enforced to the letter, and any deviations from normal procedures will be strictly dealt with. Any questions? Yeah. Who do we see for a parole? <laughs> very, very funny. 
You're Mr. Schultz, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Number 1367. <laughs> yes, yes, I've heard all about you. Quite the clown, eh? Well, let me tell you. Please, Mr. Hine, I think no, I no, can... No, please, Miss Spalding. Don't interrupt the warden. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz and the rest of you, you've had your little laugh. Miss Falding, I sympathize with you. They must have been quite a problem. But I assure you it will be a pleasure to take this bunch off your hands next term. Good evening, gentlemen. You know something? Next term I'm going to keep my tailor shop open evenings. <laughs> hey, goodness. Classa, I'm going to get a bigger decision. I think I'm going to go to day school in the Mary Rosa. <laughs> Luigi, if I was single, I'd marry her myself. <laughs> well, there's the bell. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. You may go now. Aren't you leaving? Please, uh, please, Miss Borden, do you mind if we stretch it out a little bit? We ain't going to be seeing much more of you. Class, don't feel too badly. I think it'll all work out all right. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to report to the principal. Good night, and good luck on your examinations tomorrow. Fellas, you think Miss Spaulding is right? Do you think it's going to work out? Oh, well, there's school. There's all kinds of teachers. That's all you ought to, to study hard, and, and maybe we get used to him. No, I'm, I'm not when I leave Miss Spaulding. No, no, smile, everybody. What can this Mr. Hein do? If we come in late, can he whip us? If we answer questions wrong, can he hit us with a ruler? If we make a little mistake, can he throw things at us? For the shirts, can he? I don't know, but tomorrow I am joining the Blue Shield Medical Plan. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Why don't we draw up a petition that we want to keep Miss Spaulding next to him? We'll all sign it and bring it to the principal. Oh, that's a wonderful no, 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 Just a minute. I, I don't think that's right. When the city supplies us with free education and books, the, the, that we should go to them and, and tell them what to do. Listen to Benedict Arnold! <laughs> Olsen, you want Miss Balding or don't you? I will tell you as much as you do. Uh, wait, uh, well, wait, friends. We not can tell them what they should do. But that is a no mean we can't do what do we want. What do you mean, Luigi? When when we take the test tomorrow, yeah. if we fail, then they leave us in a second grade again. Then we'll have Miss Spaulding again. Luigi, sure. you are a genius. Oh, Luigi, oh. you are so smart. <laughs> they should put your brain in a bottle and charge a nickel a lot. <laughs> Funny. But hey, hey, you like my idea? Huh? I love it. We all failed the examination. All right. Now, 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 what's the plan? Plan? Who needs a plan? We'll all play dumb. <laughs> Luigi, you hear the people going on a hunger strike? Sure. But tomorrow we'll all go on a stupid strike. <laughs> Now, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum, the delicious treat that millions enjoy every day, invite you to turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, today is the day for the final examination. And your son of Luigi is doing a very strange thing. He's a studying how he should have failed. <laughs> you see, Mamma Mia, my whole class is a going on a stupid strike. So we can have our same teacher, Miss Spaulding, in a second grade the next term. Of course, is it going to be harder for Olsen to act the stupid? <laughs> Mamma Mia, but, but for the rest of us, is it going to be very easy? <laughs> to make sure I'm going to fail, Mamma Mia, I'm sitting here studying and with all of the books are turned up upside down. <laughs> Important thing. Hey, Luigi. Uh, hey, Luigi, why you got cotton stuffed up with your ears? Hold up, Squally. I'm studying for my final examination. 
But when I'm reading the book, I don't want to hear what I'm saying because then I might learn something. <laughs> oh, Luigi, I think somebody slipped a Mickey in your buttermilk. <laughs> Luigi, what's it come over you? Yesterday you was to give me a big talk on how much you love a school. Now I come in and find you studying to be an idiot. Even worse than that, a maroon. <laughs> I look, Luigi. Seems to me you're getting fed up with going to school. So why don't you think over again of my proposition about taking half of my business and marrying a rose? No, no, Pasquale. Luigi, just to look on her. With the weight she's a loss and that new dress she's wearing. Believe me, she's a sight. <laughs> but Pasquale, don't you're not... beg me. I'm going to call her right now. Rosa! 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 Yes, my little cupcake. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. <laughs> hello, Rosa. Rosa, I think Luigi's given up some of his high-class notions about going to school. Instead, he's thinking maybe about getting married and hey, little babies. Rosa, tell Luigi what do you think about little babies. I think every mother should have one. <laughs> Shut up your face. <laughs> well, Luigi, don't you think it's a good idea? Huh? What do you think? You're going to come into my store? Oh, Pasquale, now let me explain. I'm still a love of my school just as much as always, even more. But you see, the reason I'm studying it this way is because I'm going to want to pass the test. What? Well, you see, Miss Spalding is going to teach you the second grade the next term. So to make sure we have it again, we're going to fail the test and we're going on a stupid strike. Stupid strike? Uh -huh. Luigi, don't you know that's a violation of the Taft the Hartley Act? <laughs> No, Pasquale, stop. You're just trying to make me worried. All right, all right. Uh, what's uh, going to happen if the principal would ever find out? Hey, now, wait, Pasquale, you wouldn't tell. <laughs> Who, me? Luigi, I'm going to keep a secret like a Walter Winchell. <laughs> And how about the Rosa? Oh, you know, Rosa. Rosa, what do you think about the secrets? I think every mother should have one. <laughs> oh, stop for that. Well, go, 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 go. Go to school, Luigi. I wish you luck. I hope you fail. Well, thank you, Pasquale. I hope everything has come out all right. I'm sure Mrs. Balding would like to have us in her class, just like we would like to have her for our teacher. Come in, Miss Balding. I have good news for you. You have, Mr. Roy? Yes. I took up that request you made to me last night to the Board of Supervisors. And they've approved it. Well, if you want to stay with that class so much and they want to stay with you, we see no reason why that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. And if they all pass their final test tonight, you'll be their teacher in the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Orr, they'll all pass beautifully. I'm going into the class now to give them the test. Why don't you come in with me? All right, I think I will. I think you'll be amazed with their answers. <laughs> Hey, Schultz. Schultz, you see her coming yet? No, no, not yet. Ooh, here she comes now. Everybody go back to the seats. Begging any Miss Spalding will be surprised when I give the wrong answers today. Oh, yeah, I bet she fall down in a dead face. Oh. <laughs> Smile, everybody, and be stupid. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, wait. Don't forget, everybody, if you don't know the answer, don't guess. It's liable to be the right one. <laughs> 
evening, class. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Hello, students. Hello, students. Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Roth. Hello, Principal. Class, I brought the principal in so he could listen to you take your final examination. Huh? Oh, now, don't be nervous, gentlemen. I've got a big surprise for you after the test. <laughs> and have we got a surprise for him? <laughs> All right, class, no whispering. This is test now. Mr. Horowitz. Oops, I'm elected. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, Mr. Horowitz, you may tell us how many states are there in the Union? In the Union? Yes. AF of L or CIO? <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, you know the answer, I'm sure. Well, we used to have 16 colonies, but when they began to let everybody in, I lost count. <laughs> Uh, sit down, Mr. Howitz. Uh, uh, Mr. Basco. Yes, sir, Miss Purdy. You may tell us, how many states are there in the Union? Oh, two, three dozen. Uh, I'd better try spelling. Uh, spell banana. All right. Uh, banana. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N. Mr. Basco! What's the matter? Bananas are too long? Split it in half. And is it going to be banana split? <laughs> Mr. Basco, remember your spelling rules. Now, what's the important rule about banana? Never keep them in the refrigerator. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Basco, what's the matter with you? No, Miss Spalding, please, please, Miss Spalding, don't worry. What? Mr. Schultz, why are you winking at me? <laughs> I uh, just wondered you should call on me. I should give some right answers. <laughs> huh? well, all right, let's see. Uh, uh, what are the boundaries of the United States? Ah. Well, on the east and west, they got the Atlantic and Pacific. Sure. Yes. Yeah, sure. They got those supermarkets all over the country. <laughs> of answers are these? Well, I, I can't understand it. No, no, wait, wait. I ain't finished yet. Yeah. On the bottom of the United States is the Gulf of Mexico. That's all wet. And on the top is Canada. Dry. <laughs> Class, you're not thinking. I, I don't understand this, Mr. Orth. Yes. Mr. Olson, I'm sure I can depend on you. Uh, you see, Mr. Orth, Mr. Olson is one of our brightest students. <laughs> Mr. Olson, you may tell us the causes of the Civil War. Well, that's very simple. You say Lincoln. Olson. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, <laughs> causes of the Civil War. Well, at that time, Abraham Lincoln was having a fight with the Indians about who should be on the pen, me. Mr. Olson! <laughs> so they fought the war, and it was finally decided to put Lincoln on the pen, me, and over him the Indians named E. Pluribus Unum. Oh, no! Oh, no, and the Well, class, now that Mr. Orth has gone back to his office, I can tell you this. This past hour examination was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. How none of you could answer even one question, right, is something I'll never understand. <laughs> class, shall we tell her? Go ahead, tell her. Miss Smile, Miss Spalding. Oh, the, the whole thing was a scheme. Yes. What? Well, Miss Spalding, it's only you see. We was just the one on a stupid strike. We answered the questions all along on a purpose. Now we all are going to be left to back, and we're going to be together again in the second grade. We are in the second grade. We are in the second grade. Miss Spalding, what's the matter? You big, wonderful fools. I, I don't know how to say it. Not to Miss Spalding. Well, after what you told me last night, I went to Mr. Orth and requested that I be allowed to teach you in the third grade. Oh. Oh. Only this afternoon I received permission. Now that you've failed and you're in the second grade, your teacher will be Mr. Hine. Oh. <laughs> back to the monster. <laughs> no, no, Miss Spalding. This is can't be. I, I'm a can't believe it. What are we going to do? Well, uh, we're going to go right to the principal and tell him a whole thing. Well, and what if we don't believe him? He's got to believe us. So come on, everybody, we go now. Come on, Miss Come on, Miss Roth. Mr. Roth. What is it? Mr. Roth, 
Hey, you, you gotta believe us. We did in another Miss Bonham was gonna have it a third grade. No. So we was gonna stand a second grade. And if we was gonna fail it, so we're gonna stand a second grade. But you took out of the second grade for the third you grade. Stop Luigi! You are getting him all for shimmer. <laughs> Mr. Orth, what he's trying to say is this. They purposely failed their examination so they could remain in my second grade class. I refuse to believe it. Your heart is true. He was purposely stupid. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing's incredible. You'll all stay in the second grade with Mr. Hyde. Oh, but a class, a class, a how can we prove that? Hello. Hello, I'm like to speak to the principal. This is he. And this is me. <laughs> Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale. 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 What, what does he want? Uh, look, Mr. Principal, uh, I'm a good friend of Luigi Bosco, and I got some news for you. Yes? I'm a no like to squeal, but Luigi's made up a plan with all his second grade shipmates. <laughs> they're supposed to take a test, and they're going to fail on a purpose. They're going to fail on purpose? Yes, it's got something to do with their staying with their teacher, but I think they should be thrown out of school instead of wasting your time. Don't you think so? Well, uh, I don't know. Hey, Mr. Rote, please, I'm, I'm like to talk to him, huh? Hello, Pasquale. Huh? Mr. Principal, you changed your accent. <laughs> no. Hello, Pasquale. That's a Luigi. Luigi, hey, where you come from? I don't know, Pasquale, but uh, believe me, you come uh, from uh, heaven. Some of me, everything was turned out to fine after all. The principal was very nice. He's understand, and he's let us take the test all over again. Oh, we was plenty nervous. And how hard we tried. But what the marks we got. Horowitz, 97. Olison, 99. And me, 102. <laughs> That was not my mark, Mamma Mia. was my fever while I was taking a test. <laughs> but Schultz, Schultz, he didn't do so good. Only 50. <laughs> but the principal has given him a 15 points for neatness. <laughs> so he's to be with us in a third grade again. 15 points for neatness. You know something, Mamma Mia? I'm thinking the principal, he don't like Mr. Heinen either. But is it just like I'm said in the beginning of this letter? America is a god of the most wonderful system of education. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, L'Emigrante. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. They present this program each week because they feel that millions of Americans like to listen to the adventures of Luigi just as millions enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. And the Wrigley people invite you to listen next week at this same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Blue Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as the squatter. Hans Conley with Schultz. Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Lustig. Friends, the Wrigley Company invites you to listen to their program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday night over most of the same CBS stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>